We got we got some of our maintenance uh, crew out here, and they you know they're chopping and cutting hard labor work now. But we do definitely appreciate the energy and making sure that the line is nice and clear and looks uh, presentable. Yes, my brothers, I appreciate you, I man. Appreciate your hard work. Yeah. So I'm telling people when they see all these things, you know, people are getting paid because no one comes around doing anything for free. Yeah. So I tell people that, you know, the money's being spent and you know, trust me, our brothers and sisters appreciate you know the business and they appreciate the support. So let's keep on putting black dollars in black hands and keep on building black cooperative economics. Yeah. You know? Appreciate you, young man. I remember when I used to be young and strong like that, man. Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah. I try to, get I try to get, I, let me go try to do that. I catch a stroke or a heart attack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember back in... We got to eat better. And, and, and we got a lot to live for. We got a, lot, a big project to finish. That's why you notice. Less rice, more salads. More I know water. people like, you're too big to be a vegan. <laughs> they be tripping, right? I am. That's, that's the crazy part about it. The crazy part about it, cause you think about it, ho horses, cows, gorillas, a oh, vegetarian man. Basically, yeah, chimpanzee they eat meat every now and then, but they eat fruit. Uh, giraffes, you know, uh, elephants, they all vegan, basically. Look how muscle and strong they are. Oats and grass and it's a big so family. It's, pro it's protein in it. it Look at that. So you don't have to eat meat to have you know power you and strength. Muscles. Have muscle, they go. <laughs> you just gotta work at it every day, though. Anytime I start working out, I get blobby. So, yes, man, this was this very productive. This is what we need, yeah. Very yeah, productive. This is good stuff. Good stuff, man. The mission. I feel like the mission is completed, man. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, man. Can't, we can't have you coming all the way up here, brother. You don't see your land, man. No, I was coming. I told everybody when they're with us, we just our goal is because usually a few people come. That has land, and just the goal is always to show theirs. Yeah. And then, and then whatever we can show, Azebo usually shoot, shoot a video for them of the land. Yeah. No, I was going. I was going to go up there no matter what. I don't care if it was raining, <laughs> hailing. I'm going to see it. Now it gives me the motivation I need to make the proper investments and do my proper study, my, my research. So. Yeah, it does motivate you, man. Because right. we, 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 I tell people, you know, you know, once we come up on what we need to come up on. You know, we can put all the things we need to put on it because if we waited for those things to happen, then to get the land, the land wouldn't be available. It wouldn't be available then. It would always be priced, we'd be priced out. Yeah. Did you see the weeders? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, we're just talking about them and letting them know we appreciate uh, them just coming out there and putting the work in. And, you know, uh, we're thank, you know, we're happy that we can support. Uh, so, so, how do you like the work with you? Uh, it's, uh, you, know, you know, I prefer a bulldozer, but, you know, yeah. uh, you know, they, they came to at the right time because sometimes, you know, these bulldozer folks be thinking that we're millionaires. So, but um, that's why we have to get access to our own um, heavy machines and heavy equipment. And so down for a second, there you go. What you're saying? I said, if you want it done, this is, we are the pioneers. We we make it happen, you know. If you want it done, we have to organize ourselves as a community to get it done, to get things done around here, you know. It, 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 it's not like being in America where you got a service for every everything that you need, you know, and, and it's, it's a service economy. This, this economic system, hasn't even started yet. So we're still patterning ourselves after uh, so-called European uh, colonialism. When, when, when we declared our independence, uh, we really wasn't independent. You know, uh, all, all the Europeans did is leave, leave the offices and leave the places of authority and in and, and the buildings and, and uh, black people, the Africans just moved in and took their place. That's all. That's all that happened. So we still got colonialism. Colonialism still exists, but you know, 
White folks put a battery in these politicians' backs and in remote, and now they got them on remote control. <laughs> As you if know? I love it, man. Keep dropping you know? the knowledge and the science. That's right. They, 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 they're on remote control. And they're, they're just now coming to the realization. Yes, yes. Uh, oh, no, we're we'll heading, heading, heading back. You know, that nobody's going to free black folks but black folks. First, we have to know that we need, need to be free. We, we don't even know that. We don't even know what Pan-Africanism is. But Pan-Africanism is, is, is the system that lights your fire. Lights your fire. It makes a spark. It sparks in your brain, and that spark is what makes the fire. So, I mean, we got to do this ourselves. We're the pioneers. We have to work out a system to, so that our children's children, the next generations to come, will have a seat, you know, at, at the uh, table of global, black global power. And that's, that's one of my sayings, peace and black global power, because there will never be any peace on earth until black folks get back into power. That's, that's, the, that's what I believe. You know? Appreciate you dropping the science on the family. That's right. And, and, and you've been a part of this great vision of just being here, holding the fort down with boots on the ground. Boots on the ground, brother. And while I'm there, you know, working the stuff, working it from the other angle. Uh, right. So because we have to keep on working to get investors and people to work with our vision. That's right. They have to see the vision first. So that's what we've been doing. We've been showing you what we're building from the ground up. And as you can see, we're rocking the Africa for the Africans t-shirt and Black Star Pan-African Community t-shirts. That's right. And this is both of these business we built and they're dedicated to our ancestor Marcus Garvey who empowered and educated us to build self-reliance, self-determination and build a nation of our own and get involved with our uh, black cooperative economics and get involved with, uh, you know, doing for ourselves. That's right. And, and creating a path to where we can be competitive and not be dominated by everybody else. So, you know, we just, these are just not names of our business, you know? It's, uh, it's our life, it's a movement, it's our dedication. So, Africa for the Africans and Black Star Pan-African Community. That's right. And we get, we get all of these names from Marcus Garvey, even though we know, we know Marcus Garvey was not the first person that coined the phrase, but he definitely made it you know, popular. popular in a worldwide scale. You know? That's right. Yeah, you know, we, scale. we That's still right. always love our great brother Mark Martin Delaney to lay that foundation down. Right. Yes, my brother. And, and that book that you had was it was a key to uh, black black power. Uh, Blueprint for Black Power is yeah, one book by Dr. Amos Wilson, a focus right. on black yeah, uh, economics. That read that book. And you know, you have you yeah. know the race first by Dr. Tony Martin. That's right. Come on, Azibo, come on, let's make a little move. So what you see is the vision of the Black Star community in the background. The two homes right there, that's when you can tell you're close by a community because you'll see the two homes right there. And then when you're on the other side, you'll see the other two homes. Yes, my brother, let's, let's tell everybody both of your names again. Tell, tell, tell everyone both of your names again. Okay, I'm Kelvin. Kelvin? Yeah. yeah. I'm the Odum. Odum. Odum and Kelvin. Yeah. You got, appreciate you guys for being a caretaker of the property. And uh, family, you know, these two brothers are two of uh, several people that we have as far as our staff and crew at Black Star Pan African Community. So, you know, keep on, you know, keep on working energy. You're walking back to the bus with us, right? All right. Yeah, great. Yes. And as time goes along, uh, brothers, you know, we're going to build this thing up from the ground up. 
and just, one in, in each of these empty because oh, uh, so, all our booths are there in school. Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, we can definitely talk about some um, because it's a lot of walking on the property and uh, we need to get you some heavy, heavy, you know, heavy boots and get you some, you know, get you some uh, nice equipment. So we can definitely talk about that. Yeah, it was, the land was beautiful. It was a sweet little man. That's a lot of land right there. And, and family. So we're getting back on the bus and we're going to head to the business district and then also go take a look at uh, the other phase of land and the beach area.